Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, welcome to this week's reading. For this week I am reading from the coffee cup and then I'll be pulling out some cards towards the end. This is the modern way tarot deck that I have here. All right Gemini, let's begin. Gemini, 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 okay. Hmm, I see for many of you you're looking forward to some kind of release. You're looking forward to maybe going on some journey here that you've been planning, you've been preparing for, but you've needing, you're, you're needing to sort out a lot of things. I do see something here that you've been trying to really navigate and sort lots of um, work, something that you are, that's kind of, uh, you know, been... Um, something in the way like it's been a burden but I do see opportunities after after you get this done because it's something that's a, a necessity um you know it's been kind of like a weight on your shoulders I do see opportunities coming through I, I just see you feeling much better about yourself what I see now what's coming through there's some kind of guilt around and you know it could be guilt just in terms of uh when good things happen to you sometimes you may feel guilty um and this is something that needs to change because when you get that you then create a blockage and sometimes you don't realize you're doing it but there's something within you that you feel like perhaps you know when there are some Something that's going to really make you happy or a person that makes you happy. And sometimes subconsciously you may push this away because you feel like you don't deserve it of some kind. But I see like you're blowing this away. This is something that you don't wish to have that continue in your life. There's, I do see some really good opportunity coming in. Once you start to evolve in that, and, and be very conscious of not feeling bad. Because there's a couple of things here I do see you may, you may have to give up. And perhaps that's why there's that sense of guilt. Um, you know the maybe opportunity is going to take you away from spending time with somebody or, or spending time in a certain place or perhaps you have to leave a certain job and you feel very guilty even though it's the best thing for you because there's something else that's come along I very much see see many of this here don't feel bad you deserve this you've been working for this you've been asking for this and remember if it's the other way around i mean if it's if it's a job and you're the boss and you really don't want this person to leave they would leave anyway you know um because they they they're going to take this opportunity they're going to take this chance so that's something here that i see and you've been manifesting this you've been manifesting i see you have you've had your eye on the ball here Definitely like your eye, like your bullseye, you've hit it. And sometimes, you know, when you like shoot that arrow and it, and you know, you can get it, but it's, that arrow has traveled far and sometimes it's had to go over and then under and then sideways until boom, you, you, it gets right in the bullseye. Um, and there is, well, some of you may have to tra travel at a distance. I see distance here as well. There's a few things, you know, that needed to, you needed to evolve from, like we were talking about before. And I do get there is a response when it comes to a person, a relationship here. You know, something that you've tackled with that felt a little bit heavy. It, you're going to start enjoying this more as well. Even when it comes to love, perhaps you don't always give yourself the time. 
to enjoy it, you know, there is something here you're going to start enjoying. I'm seeing you going out more, socializing, going for drinks, many things uh, like that. Like things, like in your, in terms of your social life, that's it's a step up here. You know, um, new new environment, new people, and it it could be work related, but uh, you know. I love what I'm seeing here for you. And you definitely had to go through many, um, many events, many places, many knocking on many people's doors for certain opportunities until you get the right one, including frogs, kissing many frogs until you find, you know, the right person. I see a big frog here. That's a really good indication and sign. As many prosperous things will come through from this and there is something here I see that you are working very silently it's probably the best thing for you right now because um, you're doing all that you can to protect what is coming towards you I love that oh will of fortune well, of fortune three of pentacles and the knight of pentacles lovely Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Mm. Gemini. I feel so positive and happy from your reading. I really do. You know, some some readings, I feel like the emotion and the sadness. This time, no, I feel good. I feel very, very good. You know, um, as I was saying, things have taken its time, but there is that steadiness slow and steady wins the race and that is what is happening your your um there is a cloud that is being removed it's moving away this cloud is moving away and you are being seen in a very bright light here with the three of pentacles uh, as i was saying these opportunities are coming in for you and you're going to realize that you're exactly where you should be with this coming to you, with this approach, you know, uh, and and yes, you've been navigating your way, but you're going to find the, the best direction for you, you know, and working with others or people wanting you, like very much kind of in demand. And here with the Knight of Pentacles, it is, a res this is a result of, um, you know, a long long journey or uh, that you've been waiting to get to this point where there's no not so much of up, ups and downs anymore um you know this is longevity here with the knight of pentacles finding somebody also that you can trust and that you know things will 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 be okay um will be great will be better than okay in their hands so there is this there's this energy that i get here with the knight of pentacles it is um you know somebody that is straight that is honest and security as well that you get you know it's it's uh like you can really really go the distance with what you are making here the queen of wands the queen of wands and the hermit aha uh -huh. the queen of wands and the hermit You are coming out of your shell in a big way here with the Queen of Wands and the Hermit. You're coming out of your shell. Oh, I can feel it. You really are kind of like cracking that. You're coming out of it. You know, you're not going to allow yourself to, to hide anymore. Like you're like, okay, something is being secured here. You've got it. You've got this contract. You've got whatever it is that you've been, you know, really wanting to get to this level, to this point. It's there. Right. And now the Queen of Wands, your personality needs to shine because you have such a, a, a wonderful personality, sense of humor. And there's so much more for you to show. But I do see you coming out of 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 the of, of your hiding, you know, um, and but also having a good balance. Like sometimes you like to just be. um you're very comfortable to be to being in your own in your own space um 
But the Queen of Wands and the Hermit, it is also you being very connected to your soul. Very connected to your soul, listening to your higher self, listening to your soul, to your spirit, you know, and, and not losing your sense of self. If you're moving elsewhere or you're doing something completely new, different environment, you're going to be stronger than ever and gain even more knowledge. You know, something, you're going to show your passion and be, be free to also show how happy you are something that is definitely growing but you're also there is also a lot of humility that i see that's going to be very very important but you are holding on to this power and it is like i'm saying like for the long long run here oh we have the high priestess listening to your higher self i just said that listen to your higher self look at that you're also developing a lot, you know, just spiritually and, and emotionally, you know, unafraid to, to show and say what is needed. And, and I do get that you are finding a good balance in your life where you get the best of both worlds. You can be this outgoing person, but also still um, retract if you, if you wish, you know, you don't always have to be the... Um, extrovert you know you can also be the introvert if needed but i do see you are starting to really live out things that you have learned you're becoming all the more wiser for everything that you have um gone through and and and, and made your journey the high priestess there are things that you are going to discover that you're going to learn that's coming through New things that you're you're going to I see something is going to be in development. Um and you're kind of like learning as you go. But you're the perfect person for this as well. The, the, with the, a certain opportunity that's coming to you know, you're the best person for this, Gemini. And also Hermit and then the High Priestess. I get like this affection, interestingly enough. Something to do with affection. Opening up to that as well. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. But it's something feels so like, like... Like, you know, you've got this, Gemini. You've got this. And with the power of your mind also here with the High Priestess. Very, very strong mind. And you have a very special, unique way of, of seeing things, of doing things, of thinking of things. You put that together, you know, to manifest what it is that you want. It's coming through. I love it. Thank you so very much, Gemini, for being here. I really hope that this was helpful. Do let me know. I love you all so very much. And until next time.